Sucrose Flotation Technique Flotation techniques such as the sucrose flotation technique uses solution of appropriate specific gravity to separate and concentrate parasite ova in environmental samples like soil or stool samples. Most parasite ova float in the solution due to a lower specific gravity than the sucrose solution. Collect approximately 200 grams of soil sample. Sand dry or oven dry the samples before processing. Strain dried soil samples using a 125 micrometers mesh seal. Place 2 grams of strained soil sample in a tube. Then add 6 milliliters of distilled water. Mix the suspension thoroughly using a vortex mixer. After thorough mixing, place the tube in a centrifuge at 1,800 RPM for 10 minutes. After centrifugation, decant the supernatant from the tube and mix the remaining sediment with 8 milliliters of 1.2 specific gravity sucrose solution. Mix the resulting suspension using vortex mixer. After mixing, place the test tubes in a centrifuge at 1,800 RPM for 10 minutes. After centrifugation, fill the tube with 1.3 specific gravity of sucrose solution up to the brim using a 10 milliliter syringe. Place the cover slip on the mouth of the tube to collect the topmost portion of the sucrose suspension. And observe at 100x 200x or 400x magnification for the presence of parasite eggs. Identify, count, and note parasite eggs and other developmental stages observed. 